Hey everyone, my name is Marie, aka I Bag Happy, and welcome to my channel. So for this video, I will be attempting to do the ultimate Lueve puzzle bag comparison video. I will be comparing the medium, the small, and the mini, and all of their details, etc., in the hopes that it would help you make a decision if in case you are picking between these three sizes. And uh, if you know me, you know that I love the Louisville puzzle bag. So much so that I own two of them. Uh, I own a medium puzzle. So I bought this back in 2018. And just last year, I bought a mini puzzle. Okay, so I don't own a small, but a friend kindly lent me hers just so I can make a more well-rounded more well-informed video and now i will be covering the usual you know dimensions uh details etc etc uh and in the end i will also share my final thoughts now if you want to jump to a certain section i will be putting chapters uh in and timestamps in the description box below okay uh, I think that's about it. Let's jump right in. So these are the three Luwewe puzzle bags that we will be comparing in today's video. But first, I will just give a quick description of each. So first, this is the Luwewe medium puzzle bag. It's in the tan color, in the classic calfskin leather, and this was purchased in 2018. This is the Luweve a small puzzle bag. Uh, it's in the soft green calfskin leather and the color is called light caramel. This was purchased in 2020. And this one, this is the Luweve mini puzzle bag. Uh, it's in the satin calfskin leather and the color is called vintage khaki. And this was purchased in 2022. Let's kick things off with a comparison of the size differences between these three bags. I will first share the dimensions and then I will do side-by-side -side comparisons between the medium and the small, the small and the mini, and the medium and the mini. So let's first take a look at actual measurements. I will also be flashing the dimensions indicated on the website here on screen. Uh, just so you know how much they're off maybe uh, but of course these are approximate and not precise precise i will be measuring in centimeters just so it's a little bit more accurate let's start with the medium puzzle bag on the website it says it's 19.5 by 29 by 14. so let's see so height for me is around 19 maybe if it includes the flap And then the width is 29 and the depth is around 12. Next is for the small puzzle bag. On the website, it says it's 16.5 by 24 by 10.5. Let's see. So maybe that's around... 16 maybe width is around 24 and the depth is around 10 as for mini on the website it says it's 12.5 by 18 by 8 Let's see yeah, so maybe around 12 cm. Around maybe 17.5 cm. <clears throat> and the depth is around 7 cm for me. Let's now do some side by side comparisons first between the medium and the small. They are side by side, one in front of the other. Very small difference here. From the side, back, and from the bottom.
Now let's compare the mini and the small. Here they are side by side. And one in front of the other. So the difference is a bit more noticeable between these two. From the side. From the back. And from the bottom. And lastly, let's compare the medium and the mini. A very big size difference. Here it is from the front. One in front of the other. Very big difference here. From the side. From the back. And from the bottom. There you go. So I'm now going to discuss their differences in terms of handbag features, starting with the medium puzzle. So it has a removable strap. Which is also adjustable. And this is how you adjust it. You remove it like this. And then you pull. Okay. You pull in or out, depending on the length you want. And voila! So I love this design because it's always symmetrical. And I love that feature. So in the back, you can see there's an exterior uh, pocket. Very big space. Uh, it can actually fit a phone. Then at the bottom, there's feet. There's also a deering over here, so you can wear it as a backpack if you prefer, if you prefer. I personally don't do that. Here it has the anagram. It has a big zip closure, and then inside is cotton canvas lining with a front pocket here and a back pocket here. As for the small, it also has a removable and adjustable strap. But the way you adjust it is more like the usual design we see. I think older models had a different design, but now it's like this. It also has a back pocket. The bottom doesn't have feet. I think older models had the feet also. Zip closure. Cotton canvas lining and inside is just back pocket. As for the mini, it also has a removable strap. But it is not adjustable. Same goes through true with the regular mini puzzle, uh, but that strap is thinner but longer. This one is shorter uh, and wider. So personally, I couldn't wear this crossbody. Now it doesn't have a back pocket here. It doesn't have feet. It also has a zip closure, and then inside is also cotton canvas lining but no more pockets inside. There you go. So let's now talk about leather, okay? I've gone handheld for now. Uh, what's great about this collection of puzzle bags that I have here is that they actually have different types of Lueve leathers, starting with this one. So this is what they call the classic capskin. So you can see it's quite smooth in texture, but when you go closer, there's still a bit of grain on it. So you have the benefits of the durability of calf skin, but it still has that soft, luxurious feel to it. Now, I've had this for uh, over four years, and I don't really see any noticeable scratches on it. 
So I love that it looks so supple and luxurious, but it doesn't scratch as easily as you might think. Now beside it, this is what you call the soft grain calfskin. So it's also calfskin leather, but there's a pebbled texture to it, which is a lot more noticeable compared to the classic calfskin. So side by side, they're very, very far from each other. Of course, this one is a lot less prone to scratches, but as you can see, the color is not as shiny compared to this one. See, there's still a bit of shine here. Here, the color is quite dull. It's also a great opportunity for you to see the difference between the light caramel and the tan of the classic calfskin. This is called light caramel. For me, I like this color a lot more. It's a deeper brown. This one is a bit duller. But if that's your preference, you know, it's also a nice color to have. Nice neutral color. As for the mini, I believe they released this type of leather just this year. And this is what they call the satin calfskin. So compared to the classic calfskin, this is a lot more smoother. And there's not a lot of grain on it. The grain is not as noticeable. Almost non-existent. In the back, you might be able to see it a lot more. And it's a lot shinier. So uh, definitely, this will be a lot more prone to scratches. Let's compare the two. Almost no grain already. Can't even see it. This one, you can still see a bit of the grain. But of course, the shiniest and the most luxurious looking would have to be this one. This one, uh, still a bit shiny. Um, you know, not as smooth as this one. But I feel like this is a lot more hard wearing. A lot easier to care for compared to this one. This one would be prone to scratches quite a bit. So each of the leathers have their advantages and disadvantages. It really depends on your preference and, you know, what you can tolerate in terms of your handbag. take a look at what fits inside the medium puzzle the small puzzle and the mini puzzle I first filled up the medium puzzle with stuff um, in reality I really wouldn't uh, fill it up this much uh, but I will be working with the same number of items uh, just so you know how 
different they are as we go smaller and smaller. Uh, if you want another reference uh, as to what fits, I already made a review video on the medium puzzle and my mini puzzle, so I will link to those videos in the description box below. Now, let's open it up and see what's inside. It's really a lot of stuff. Starting with my Chanel coin purse. So this is a compact wallet. Okay. My mini pochette. So this contains hand cream, lip brush, lipstick, alcohol, tissue. I think I also have a comb in there. There. So contains a lot of stuff in there. And then I also have a Wapiti pouch. Uh, so you can put your you know, power bank in there or wires. This is an echo bag, so a collapsible bag. This is a hard drive. I just use a Dior pouch for my hard drive there. And then my eyeglass case there this is in here so we have my pen case so it's a very regularly shaped one contains my ball pens okay and then we have a key pouch so this contains my vitamins or meds I fit in a book so I'll share the size of this book below. And I just fit in a Kindle. Just in case the book is not enough. <laughs> Checkbook. Small collapsible umbrella. Yes. Oh, yeah, my earbuds. else no more at the back but here in the front pocket i put in my key holder and at the back pocket i placed my iphone 11 pro with a very thick very heavy casing uh, so honestly i wouldn't really fill it up like this uh, but to share with you i frequently use this for travel and it can fit a water bottle in there it can fit my camera it's it's not really a compact digital camera it's a camera with you know interchangeable lenses so it was a pretty bulky camera but not really like a dslr type size but it was it can fit inside quite easily uh it can fit my old ipad in there um ipad air uh, but i no longer have that uh so yeah that's what fits inside the medium puzzle. Let's now see what will fit in the small puzzle. So we now have the small puzzle over here. The items are still laid out uh, and let's see what will fit. But first, uh, let's test uh, if some of the items, you know, the bigger items would fit. For example, this book. I think this is quite big, so it wouldn't fit there. Um, how about this uh, collapsible umbrella? Yeah, can fit in there. But in order to maximize the bag, um, I'm just going to put more of my essentials or the usual stuff I would bring with me maybe on the daily, not necessarily for work. Um, let's see. So how about let's put the Kindle in case of the book. Sorry for the mess. <laughs> but yeah. Next, let's put in this one. This is also an essential, the mini pochette. So it still has the same number of stuff as earlier still pretty thick and bulky a very great catch-all of course i can't leave without my wallet let's see if the wapiti pouch can fit in there yep fit quite comfortably how about the key pouch nice um phone of course let's put it here at the back oh it can fit in the back pocket great how about my key holder 
let's just put it at the back over here for easy access and my earbuds I see that there's quite a bit more space so we can put our eyeglass case maybe on top there it's bulging a bit but it doesn't look half bad it's quite heavy already so i think i'm gonna stop there um this little bulky area is bothering me so i think i'll just put it on top like this and let's see if the eyeglass case can still fit it's a bit of a struggle but uh i think it can still work just remove the eyeglass case just put it there there so that's what fits inside the small puzzle so i cleaned up the space let's now bring everything out and then bring in the mini puzzle and downsize a little bit more So here we have the mini puzzle. Um, I'm just gonna work with the usual essentials that I need to bring with me. Um, of course, the wallet, my key holder, and my phone are the most essential. Oh, out of the others. So let's put it here on the side. And then the phone. And then the key holder here. There. And we'll just open up the mini pochette and just maybe carry the hand cream and the alcohol maybe. Put it on top right there and right there. The air, the air, the airbag sort of made it a bit harder, but uh, there. That's what fits inside the mini puzzle bag. And there you have it, my attempt at an objective comparison between the Loewe puzzle bag medium, small, and mini. I hope all of the information I shared with you in this video helped you get a little bit closer to a decision if in case you're picking between these three sizes. Um, nevertheless, whichever size you would go for, I can guarantee that Loewe puzzle bag is a great luxury bag it's a great pick it's classic it's understated um, it's very simple but quite unique in its design and um yeah anyone who owns it really raves about it including me uh now before i go on to my final thoughts of course i will still share my thoughts on these bags uh, i no longer covered prices because i feel like prices change quite quickly and uh the information is readily available online anyway. But to illustrate this bag, I bought back in September and it increased by the time I made my video a couple of months after. So uh, I, know I will no longer compare prices. Uh, obviously, the bigger it is, the more expensive it is. But there are differences in prices when it comes to the type of leather uh, that you get. Okay, so I will no longer compare prices. Now, for my final thoughts, uh, what is my pick for you know the best overall bag size best everyday bag among these three i would have to pick the small puzzle bag <laughs> so it may surprise you because ironically it is the size that i do not own but i really would have to pick the small puzzle bag um, i feel like it's the best size for most body types uh, you know it has an adjustable strap it can still fit a bunch of stuff and if you are able to find an older model in the pre-loved market you know the one with the feet then you would you i would suggest you go for that one so if you're still confused among these three sizes uh, i think the safest bet would have to be the small size uh, now 
why did I pick that when I bought a medium puzzle? Uh, I would have to say that I picked the medium size because it was really what I needed uh, at that time. And it was almost five years ago. Um, it was perfect for me because I really do tend to carry a bunch of stuff before. Um, also, I use this uh, for travel. You know, I actually put it under the seat. And that's how much I put this through the ringer. Uh, and, you know, it fit my camera with extra lenses. It fit my documents, my cash, my, uh, an umbrella maybe, a water bottle if needed. Uh, so it is really the best travel bag. And I don't use this as much anymore, but it's mainly because of the sheer number of luxury bags I own now compared to before. This was my very first high-end luxury bag, so uh, it was a favorite and I used it a lot. It's the only bag I usually carry for two-week trips. I don't want to carry too many luxury bags and the fact that it's quite understated, not everyone knows about it, it's just a perfect, perfect travel bag for me. So given that, I would have to pick the medium puzzle if you're looking for something uh, that would fit a lot like your whole life <laughs> you want to put it there the medium puzzle would be your best bet uh, as for the mini puzzle this is the best size for you if you usually just go out for quick errands and dates you know you don't need to bring a bunch of stuff just the essentials a wallet keys cash a phone lipstick that's it then this is the perfect size for you um, but if you want to be safe um, the safest bet would be the small. The puzzle bag is overall a great bag again, and uh, you can never go wrong. It's just a matter of um, deciding which size would work best for your lifestyle and what you bring. Uh, and I would suggest if you have the opportunity to do so, it would still be great if you could go to the store to try them out for yourself. Um, you know, wear it, carry it around, um, pick which leather would suit you best um, but yeah those are my thoughts as for the type of leather i would have to say that i much much prefer the classic calf skin i love that it still has that smooth uh, characteristic uh, but it still has some grain so there's still that hard wearing characteristic it's not prone to scratches um, as you can see here this bag is almost five years old and I don't see a single scratch. So don't be scared of the classic calf skin. I think it's the best among the three. Uh, the pebbled calf skin, you know, it may be a lot more hard wearing, but I really don't like the look of it. It's just a little too artificial uh, and it really dulls the color. So it's not my type. Uh, as for the satin calf skin, obviously it scratches a lot more easily, but the shine is at its peak with the satin calf skin. So I'm in the middle again, the classic top skin. Go for this one. This is my pick uh, if you are picking between leathers. And that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I will also link to some review videos I've done for the bags that I do own. Uh, so I have a three-year review on my Lueve puzzle bag. And I also did a first impressions video on my mini puzzle bag. I will link to both of those in the description box below. Um, again, thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to my channel uh, and hope to see you again real soon. Keep loving luxury and stay back happy. Salamat.